Gary Patterson got an absolutely huge prospect to commit to TCU and he paid off big time. We're of course talking about Quinton Johnson, the wide receiver out of TCU. This video is presented by Miller Lite. I'm here with my guy, Sean Barber. We're breaking down some Quinton Johnson tapes. Man, this is a guy who had a lot of production last couple years at TCU, two time all big 12. And uh, man, he really, he made it count his final year at TCU. Yeah, his stats jump off the page. But I think he's a, a, a mix between a Dez Bryant and Jeremy Macklin. Mm. If you like what you hear, when you hear those two names, you'll love what you see from Q Johnson. He's kind of a unique player where, you know, the ball's in his hands and he's got more instincts and spatial awareness than you typically see out of one of those bigger receivers. I, I like you kind of comping in some ways to a smaller receiver like Jeremy Macklin too, because I think some of his skill sets actually kind of remind me of a little bit of a smaller player. Yeah, he has that twitch and he has that knack for doing things that are freakish when he has the ball is in the air his catch radius man out of this world i hope he goes to a team that doesn't count on precise route running though because if there's any negative in this game it's route running yes there, there's there's some there's some holes there with that but there's the ball production that you saw and he was a huge piece of a very highly productive tcu offense that went all the way to the national championship let's look at some of those clips that help make quinton johnson the kind of prospect he is texas brings pressure Duggan backpedals, lofts to the end zone, wide open, Johnson, touchdown! 17.8 yards per reception for Quinton Johnson. He was a big play waiting to happen in the Big 12, Barber. Well, I like it. every catch we see is a contested catch. He, he sticks with it off of tip balls. He runs down, um, he's finishing plays, late in the down, finding holes in zones. Uh, he never gives up on the play. Um, I think what we do remember about TCU football is they were coming back from behind a lot of times. <laughs> and sometimes, hey, if you're the star receiver, it, it's hard to keep motoring and keep going and keep, you know, out there mm -hmm. uh, battling. But this young man, uh, he's a big target. Ooh. And not only is he a big target, once the ball's in his hand, he is uh, uh, tough to get down. Yeah. Um, we see it over and over again uh, after first contact. Um, yards after contact, you know, double digits, uh, touchdowns after the you know initial hit. I love what, what this man does. He's a body of work. He's a big body. And there's not many receivers, I think, that have the type of body control he has. You look at that spatial awareness that he has, and it kind of compares a little bit. Um, it, it, they're obviously different positions, but you see, you know, Travis Kelsey in the middle of the field, he's got a good understanding of where defenses are, at, you know, where they're at. So you know, he's kind of got some good spatial awareness with his back to the defense. I think Quentin Johnson has the same thing you've kind of seen in some of these plays where he's just got good spatial awareness of where defenders are closing on him, and he kind of understands where he needs to break out in order to continue to extend these plays. I think that's something kind of unique for a guy at 6'4", you know. Um, there's some little receiver ability to him after they catch that's kind of unique, you know, some good footwork, um, good change of direction ability once he gets the ball, once his ball, you know, feet are stopped, you know, he's able to kind of turn and burn and get those things back up again and, and into space. And, you know, he found space a lot of times, you know, in that TCU offense. Sometimes you just, you know, sitting over the football and, you know, making smaller defenders you know, try to bring him down, and they had a hard time doing it. Yeah, he's a big body receiver, and he plays big. Mm -hmm. he, he, he high points the ball. He doesn't mind having defenders around him. Um, he loved that contested ball. Um, and we're going to see that over and over again in his in his film. I think that you make this the, the route simple, and then you tell the quarterback, hey, we're a better athlete than the guys who are guarding us. Get the ball in his, in his zip code and watch this guy go with a tremendous catch radius, mm -hmm. make phenomenal plays on the ball. And then like we said before, the yards after catch, I mean, he's he's Terrell Owish, Owen-ish, uh, T-O-ish, whatever you want to call it, when it comes to being a, a, a man-child out here on the field. Um, I'm sure every secondary, every cornerback in safety, they can't sleep well knowing that they're going to have to try to tackle Q Johnson on Sundays this coming season. And, and you know, we, we talked a little bit about the route tree and it's not the most dynamic route tree that you've seen run, uh, you know, at the college level. And there's definitely going to be some polishing required as he continues to just build, you know, consistency, you know, throughout, you know, his, his route tree. Um, you know, but I think what you can do is you can find ways to get in the ball early, some manufactured touches. You can find a ways to work him underneath. Uh, uncovered and you can just throw the ball up to him and give some opportunities down the field as well 
um, while he's kind of developing and building off of that vertical stem. I think yeah. that's where it starts. Is like, let's just, you know, let's build off that vertical stem. Let's, you know, find a slant, a dig, a uh, comeback, and, and just try to start from there, keep it simple, and then hope that you can kind of continue to work off of that. Yeah, we've seen some receivers here lately, the Mike Williams, the T. Higgins, mm. uh, these, these big body receivers that are just causing DBs uh, nightmares mm -hmm. when it comes to how do you guard these guys? I mean, do you play the ball in the air? If you're trying to wait for the ball to come down, their frame is so big, it's tough to knock the ball out once they've already um, initiated the reception. And then with the vertical speed, these guys are also um, adding to their repertoire. Um, you can't just sit there and think you're gonna stay in a cloud corner and jam them all day. They got releases, they have ability to um, get down the field. And I think he has these tricky strides where, you know, his, his vertical speed is probably a little bit um, more impressive than than most DBs give him credit for. And I think that's why he's getting past DBs, getting by him over and over again, because it's that deceptiveness in his stride. You think he's such a long strider that he can't go vertical. And before you know it, he's by you two or three yards, and now you're trying to play catch up. Yeah, and I mean, he, he wins the ball down the field, no doubt about it. And you know, the thing I appreciate about him too is, you know, he's not afraid. Of, of closing defenders. I mean, oftentimes he's a lot bigger. He's kind of, he, weirdly enough, he's kind of a body catcher, you know? Uh, some of these plays that even we're seeing, even down the field, you know, he's kind of letting it into his body a little bit, but he's fearless. He doesn't care. You know, he, I, I don't think it's, you know, he's, he's not afraid of, of contact in the middle of the field. He's not doing it because he's afraid of contact. And um, I'm just really impressed with this game. He's a really fun prospect to watch. It's gonna be unique to see uh, on Sundays and how teams utilize him early on. The special talents, Quentin Johnson out of TCU.